The Mysterious Agatha Christie, 12 Shocking Moments from Her Life Agatha Christie, universally heralded as the Queen of Mystery, has left behind a legacy of literary genius. However, just like the complex characters in her stories, her life too was dotted with intriguing and sometimes scandalous events. Dive in to uncover 12 shocking moments from her life. Fact number 1. The Enigma of the Eleven-Day Disappearance December 3, 1926, marked one of the most baffling episodes in Christie's life. After a row with her then-husband Archibald, she left her home, leaving behind a note for her secretary claiming she was heading to Yorkshire. Her car was later found abandoned, with an expired driving license and clothes inside. The entire nation was gripped with worry and speculation. Theories abounded, had the pressure of fame driven her to suicide? Was it amnesia? Or, as some skeptics proposed, a well-executed publicity stunt? The mystery deepened when she was found 11 days later in a Harrogate hotel, registered under a different name, that of her husband's alleged lover. Christie never gave a clear explanation, only mentioning a vague recollection of a nervous breakdown. Number 2. A Second Chance at Love Amidst Scandal after her painful split from Archibald Christie, who had an affair with a younger woman, Agatha found love again, albeit in a manner that courted controversy. In 1930, she married Max Malawan, an archaeologist who was 14 years her junior. The age difference, combined with the circumstances of her previous marriage, made their union a subject of much gossip. However, their bond was strong, with Agatha often accompanying Max on his archaeological expeditions, which in turn inspired some of her works. Number 3. The War and a Brush with Poisons During the tumultuous times of World War I, Agatha Christie served at a hospital and later in a pharmacy. It was here that she developed an intricate understanding of poisons, their properties, and their effects. This knowledge was evident in her books, with many of her characters meeting their end due to some toxic substance. However, her deep dive into this dark world led to murmurs. Some critics whispered that she was capitalizing on the global conflict for the sake of her stories, turning the tragedies of war into intriguing murder mysteries for her readers. Number 4. Christie's Unexpected Spy Saga Amidst the tensions of World War II, Agatha Christie found herself entangled in a whirlwind of espionage suspicions. The seed of this suspicion was planted by a character in her 1941 novel N or M, who was curiously named Major Bletchley. For those in the know, Bletchley Park was the top-secret heart of British code-breaking operations during the war. British intelligence agency MI5 soon swung into action, wondering if the Queen of Mystery had access to classified wartime secrets. Christie was later cleared, claiming the name was purely coincidental. Yet, for many, the incident solidified the perception of Christie as not just a writer, but a woman intertwined with the real-life mysteries of her time. Number 5. Venturing into the Unknown Agatha Christie wasn't just confined to the libraries and salons of England. In 1922, she embarked on a whirlwind world tour with her then-husband, Archibald Christie. For a woman of her era, this was groundbreaking. Journeying through places like South Africa, Hawaii, and the Middle East, Christie encountered cultures and peoples that would later pepper her stories. While her literary contemporaries wrote from second-hand experiences, Christie's narratives were often infused with her personal adventures. However, society's conservative sections viewed her travels, especially unaccompanied segments through the Middle East, with a mix of awe and scandalous whisper. Number 6. A Flirtation with the Supernatural The Roaring Twenties and the somber 1930s were periods when many, devastated by the tragedies of World War I, turned to seances and spiritualism to find solace. Agatha Christie, ever the curious mind, wasn't immune to this allure. She was known to attend seances, diving into the world of mediums and the afterlife. While some critics argue that her attendance was purely for research purposes, Others believe she held a genuine interest in the paranormal. The whispers grew louder when some speculated if Christie's uncanny knack for crafting mysteries came from communing with spirits. 
Whether true or not, this facet of her life added yet another layer of enigma to her persona. Number 7. Excavating Amongst the Dangers Marrying an archaeologist meant that Christy wasn't just confined to the quiet writer's desk. She often ventured out with her second husband, Max Malawan, to archaeological sites in the Middle East. While these expeditions gave her a treasure trove of experiences to write about, they weren't without perils. Christy herself recounted encounters with venomous creatures and the intense heat of the desert. Moreover, the political landscape of the region she visited was often fraught with tensions, adding another layer of danger to her travels. Rumors of these adventures often exaggerated the risks, painting a picture of Christy as not just a writer, but an adventurer in her own right. Number 8. The Mysterious Mary Westmacott While Agatha Christie's detective novels garnered worldwide acclaim, she harbored another literary passion, romance. But she chose to explore this genre under the guise of a pseudonym, Mary Westmacott. Under this name, she penned six romance novels. The reasons for her pseudonym are manifold, perhaps she wanted to test her writing skills without the weight of her established name, or maybe she wanted to keep her romance writings distinct from her detective stories. For years, the literary world was left guessing who Westmacott really was. When it was finally revealed that the queen of mystery was behind these romances, it added another layer to Christie's already multifaceted persona. Number 9. Riding the Waves in the 1920s Agatha Christie wasn't just the queen of mystery, she was also a pioneering surfer. Along with her husband, Max Malawan, they took to the waves during their travels to South Africa, Australia, and Hawaii in the 1920s. In fact, Christie was documented as one of the first Britons to stand up while surfing in Musenberg, South Africa. Pictures from that era depict a daring Christie mastering the waves, revealing an adventurous side that many of her readers would find hard to reconcile with her more reserved, literary persona. Number 10. The Reluctant Star Despite being one of the world's most successful and widely read authors, Agatha Christie had an uneasy relationship with her own fame. She rarely gave interviews and was known to be immensely private, leading to an air of mystery around her, mirroring the enigmas she penned. This self-imposed distance from the public eye led to wild speculations and rumors about her personal life. Some believed she adopted this recluse-like persona as a marketing gimmick, while others felt it was a genuine attempt to maintain some semblance of normalcy amidst her staggering success. Number 11. Mother-Daughter Tensions Agatha Christie's relationship with her only child, Rosalind Hicks, was complex and often fraught with tension. While the exact reasons behind their strained relationship remain private, it was clear that the pressures of Christie's fame, coupled with the demands of her writing, played a role in their dynamic. Rosalind, throughout her life, was protective of her mother's legacy but also vocal about the challenges of being the daughter of such an iconic figure. The literary circles buzzed with whispers about their relationship, adding another layer of intrigue to Christie's personal life. Number 12. The Controversial Title In 1939, Agatha Christie published a novel titled Ten Little Negroes in the UK. The name was derived from a British blackface song which was popular in the late 19th and early 20th centuries and is deeply offensive today. Recognizing the racial insensitivity of the title, especially for American audiences, the novel was renamed and then there were none for its US release. Later, UK editions also adopted this more neutral title. The original title's controversy gives us a glimpse into how casual racism was ingrained in pop culture of the time, and how society's sensitivities and understanding of racial prejudices have evolved over the decades. <laughs>